Hey guys, what's up everyone? It's Michael Older Vlogs here, host of Band-Aids, and this is Band-Aids. Today we are going, uh, with an episode without a microphone, and, uh, this is probably going to be the worst audio you're probably going to hear with all of the Band-Aid videos. Actually, the, the first Band-Aids video that I probably made, that was probably the worst audio that you guys could hear on the podcasts, but that's how that's going to be. Um, my hair is growing back, but first of all, since when I cut it, but it still looks like a mess. Like, in the front, it's it's too short, but in the back, it's too long. I, 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 I butchered my hair. I'm never doing that again. Um, our neighbor, um, they have this really big house and they uh they they butchered their hedges and that's pretty much what my hair looks like right now um i don't recommend cutting your own hair if you don't know what you're doing so basically um what i'm going to be talking about in this band-aids video without a mic i wish i had a microphone right now um but i don't know where my headphones are <laughs> so yeah i have to get a mic and plug it into my phone soon Anyway, what we're talking about in our Band-Aids video here is coronavirus. Um, basically, I uh, th this this came to me in a in a when I was thinking. Um, I think the coronavirus is a way of nature trying to screw screw us over, and and what I'm saying is, when when you screw with nature, it comes back and screws you, and. The way that I'm saying is because where the, where the started was with bats, okay, with people in China eating bats, okay, bats. The first of all, I don't think eating bats or cats or dogs is healthy, okay. One, because I don't think they they aren't animals that are meant to be eaten. They aren't. All right, and if you're saying you're gonna eat a bat. Bats are the one of the most dirtiest animals ever, okay? All right? They they contract thousands of diseases all the time. All right? And the people in China didn't like they they don't they didn't know any anything about this, I'm sure. So they're going to eat a natural part and 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 a necessity for nature. So, they're going to eat that. What bats do is they go out and they eat insects. That's how they survive. They, they feed on insects, okay? Since they feed on insects, they, they, they keep the insect population down. So, it's a manage, manageable amount. So, there's not bugs everywhere all the time. All right? In the summer, usually. Okay. So, back back to my point here. So... This is nature's way of screwing over America and all over the place for how we treat animals and how we treat nature. Right? And the reason why I think this is because look 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 at all of the slaughterhouses and look at how they treat the animals before they slaughter them and and you know make them into make them into food, like make them into bacon or you know make them into chicken nuggets, stuff like that. They, what what they do is they pump their bodies with antibiotics and and they have no idea what what chemicals are in these antibiotics so they pump their bodies with these chemicals and they they uh they they cl they clutter them all together they clutter them in mass gatherings like of thousands and thousands and thousands of pigs all all in one one big giant farm room okay and they clutter them in there to the point where it's unbearable for the pigs to live in there, and they're living in their own feces, they're living in their own waste, some of the pigs are dying in there, okay, and they still slaughter these pigs and make them into bacon or ham, okay, and they do this knowing, knowing, okay, that the animals may have some type of disease from not being raised heavily and from being raised in mass gatherings. Now, why would you go and pump antibiotics into the into the um the the animal after it's dead, okay? And then then 
Then, before that, you raise them in an unhealthy place. So one, you have the antibiotics, which you don't know what's even in the antibiotics that you pump in there. And two, they weren't raised in a healthy, healthy way. This is how diseases from eating, eating animals start. Um, I'm, I'm not saying that everyone should turn vegan, but I'm just saying that this is how, this is how, uh, eating animals creates diseases. And, um, the, the, the animals, like, the only way that I can see the fixes is for everyone to go vegan, which is kind of a hard decision for, for people to do. Like, I love meat. That's, like, that's my decision to go eat meat, okay? Now, sure this will make people feel bad about eating, you know, eating meat on the daily, but I don't know. I just think that it's the irresponsibility of the people who who work in slaughterhouses. I don't think raising raising the animals on a farm and mass mass gatherings is is okay. I think what should happen is um the the caretakers there they should not pump antibiotics into their bodies into the animals bodies and they should not raise them they should not put the animals in a cage where where there's a, like a thousand pigs where 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 they you know where where they can't even live for themselves and they have to roll around in their own feces pigs and chickens and cows are are are, hu are i wouldn't say hu they aren't human they they they're beings in their own they're being they're they're living beings in themselves okay they 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 eat and sleep just like we all do okay but the only thing that they don't do is get clean like we do all right so my point is if we treated the animals a lot nicer and we treated you know everything a lot nicer and everything i think i think everything would go back to normal because i think that if if, if you didn't keep all of the animals in a mass gathering okay and and you and, and if you made sure that they they were healthy you would have healthy food. That that's that's how wild cow started. Okay, it was people who kept cow. They they kept the cows in the in the in the. Uh, they kept them in this big 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 crate for thousands of you know different cows. They were they were they were, you know, squeezed up all in there. All right, and the 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 cow meat was was all poisonous. Because they had all contracted a disease, okay? And they contracted that disease, alright? And then the people ate ate the cow. They they ate the cow, they ate they ate the cattle, okay? And it, it was contracted, you know, from animals, from the meat that people eat, and into you know, into a disease. And this is what this is what happened in China. This is pretty much what happened. And China just previously opened up their their wet market and they they they're now selling bats on the wet market for people to eat. And this is how the coronavirus started. So now now that they're clear of the cases, by the way, they they're starting this stuff again. So so they're gonna have another case. They're gonna have cases of the, of the coronavirus again, and we're gonna run through a whole cycle of all of this. That, unreal. Thank you guys for watching this Band Aids video. I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye bye.